This is a video on mathematical proof. So in maths, when we talk about proof, we talk about using a series of logical steps to come to a conclusion that we can absolutely definitely stand over. We want to use proof to test the truthfulness or otherwise of a statement. And we don't want to have any doubt left at the end. And there are a number of different ways that we can go about mathematical proof. We might just prove something through a series of logical statements. Or we might be able to use proof by contradiction, proof by induction. Maybe we might need to prove an abstract inequality. And we'll be looking at all of these over the, the run of our course. But the important thing to remember in all of them is that you must make your statements, you must justify them clearly, and you must make sure that your statements run logically together to lead you to your conclusion. In this video, I'm going to look at direct proof, which is just the straightforward making of statements leading directly towards a conclusion. So in this example, we're going to try to prove that the sum of two even numbers is always even. So here's our proof. Well, first of all, let's define our two even numbers that we're talking about. So I'm just going to give them names first of all. Let the two even numbers be x and y. So we've given them names and now let's look at their characteristic the fact that they're even. So if x is even, I can say that x is 2 times a. So a is just some number, some integer. So if x is even, 2 goes into it, so it's 2 times something. And a is an integer because x can be a positive even number, but it can also be a negative even number. And if y is even, y equals 2 times b, and b is an element of z, b is an integer as well. And it's important here to note that I've called x by one name 2a and y I've given it a different value to be because X and Y aren't necessarily the same. So this implies that X plus Y equals 2A plus 2B. And in my following statement then, I notice that, well, 2A plus 2B, I could actually factorise 2 out of both of those terms. So actually this statement here leads me on to the statement X plus Y equals 2 times A plus B. So I can see that 2 is a factor of X plus Y. And if 2 is a factor of x plus y, well then x plus y must be even. So I just want to state that. So I can say x plus y is divisible by 2, or if you prefer, x plus y has a factor of 2. And this, of course, implies that x plus y is even. So I can conclude my proof by saying that the sum of two even numbers is always even. After you've had a good look over this proof, a good question to go to next would be exercise 12.4 in book 4. Um, that's on page 471 question 8 and it asks you to prove that the sum of two odd numbers is always even. Now just think as you begin that proof how should you define two odd numbers? It was easy for us to define the even numbers. The even numbers x could be called 2a and y could be called 2b. What can I call even numbers instead? If you don't want to know and you want to figure it out for yourself, just fast forward past these next few seconds of the video. I won't write it down, but I will call it out. So for odd numbers, you could call the first number x and the second number y and just state that they're odd. And x could be 2a plus 1 and y could be 2b plus 1. By adding 1 to an even number, you automatically create an odd number. So I'll do one more direct proof example. And this time it's proved that the product of two rational numbers is a rational number. So again, just like before, I'm going to start off by defining what I'm talking about, what names I'm going to give to these numbers and how I can define them. So I'll start off by calling the two numbers X and Y, and I'm going to say that X and Y are two rational numbers. OK, so now what's a rational number? Well, a rational number is a number that can be written in fraction format. So I'm going to state that now nice and clearly. So I'm going to say that x is a over b, and I have a little bit more definition necessary for the rational number definition. So a over b, where a and b are integers, and b is not equal to zero. So now I have x defined, and I must similarly define y. So y is equal to p over q, p and q are integers, and q isn't zero. Now, I'm being asked to prove that the product of these two rational numbers is also a rational number. So I want to get the product of x and y, and I want to use their definitions a over b and p over q to achieve this. And then I want to look at what I get when I multiply them and check and see if it's still rational. So x by y so b 
based on my definitions, is going to be A over B by P over Q. And I can tidy this up a little bit as AP over BQ. So now I need to consider what AP might be and what BQ might be. So A was an integer and so was P. And when I multiply two integers together, I get an integer. So I'll state that since A is an integer and P is an integer, then AP must be an integer. And since B is an integer and Q is an integer, then BQ is an integer. So I've got an integer over an integer. And I still just need to make a statement about the denominator of this fraction not being zero, because that would kind of complete my requirements, if you like, for a rational number. And if we recall, we said that B and Q, neither of them was zero. Since B isn't zero and Q isn't zero, well, then they can't multiply to give me a zero value. So this means that my statement here for xy, ap over bq, fulfills all the criteria for rational numbers. So we can state that xy, the product of my two rational numbers, must be a rational number. So what's a nice way of writing this down? Well, I can say this implies that ap over bq is an element of the rational number set. Now, can you remember the symbol that we use for the rational number set? It's q. And then finally, to conclude, we can say the product of two rational numbers is always a rational number. And I'd suggest that once you've worked your way through this a couple of times, that you go to book four, exercise 12.4 and try question seven, which is a similar type of question, again, talking about rational numbers.